Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. So I got a question about hemiolas. Uh, hemiola is a Greek word where the expression is from a Greek term, meaning uh, half again as much. And we use it to describe two ag against three rhythms. Well, that comes up in a lot of interesting ways. Let's just take a look at it today. <laughs> First of all, two against three. It's a conventional rhythm in pop music. We hear it in um, Afro-Caribbean drumming. And uh, simply put, it's the... <laughs> rhythm, right? I learned to um, play and perform the two against three rhythm um, by counting six. I'll show you what I mean on the screen. So let's just set up a 6-8 time signature in logic. And I'm just going to put this in play, and we're going to just record. You're going to hear the click track because having a referent is really important. One, two, three, four, five, six. You hear that, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the conventional way we hear six, eight, or any six rhythm. But of course, it's possible to divide six in three groups of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And if you look at these two, side by each, you can see that there seem to be, well, there are, a sort of a tighter, more densely packed grouping of notes. So I've got three attacks in one measure here compared to two attacks. And that rhythm is going to be the three against two rhythm. Well, it suggests a bunch of things, doesn't it? And by the way, if you want to learn it, I suggest you try doing something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six in one hand while going one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six in the other hand. I learned to do it on my thighs. You just can't see them because they're out of the shot. But you get the idea, right? Well, listen, it's got a lot of interesting applications. I'm just going to roll back because I, I made a few things to take a look at, and I want to show them. Well, first of all, here's a conventional one, two, three, one, two, three, olive and this green. So my olive uh, color is... Uh, a simple group of one, two, three, four, five, six, and my green color underneath starts off emphasizing every groups of three and then goes to groups of two. You'll hear the change. Well, that second group, you know, from measure four is a cool sound. Right? Because one is emphasizing every two beats and the other is emphasizing every three beats. This is the essence of hemiola. Let's go on. In, uh, in this pattern, in starting at measure eight, in the olive, I'm doing two notes alternating in patterns of three. And in the green, I'm doing two notes alternating in groups of two. However, because of the way I've orchestrated it, up and then down and then up and then down, it's kind of creating a four note or two note pattern that crosses the bar line. And here we're starting to get some interesting results. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six.
because I've chosen my notes carefully, basically it's just kind of a C9 major chord, I'm getting an interesting result. I do like that a lot. Well, going on, I've taken it just one step further, and I, this is where it starts to get interesting for me. So here, in the olive, I'm playing notes every two beats, and I'm playing a four-note pattern. As a result, it crosses the bar line and resets itself two beats into the next measure, and here it resets itself three beats into the next measure, and you can see that at measure 17, the whole thing would begin again. Against that, in the green, I've got a simple three-note pattern, just kind of on every beat. And that's, of course, going to reset itself easily, really every half measure, every measure. But the net result is fascinating, because again, I've chosen notes that will work together. Hemiola is about groups of um, three and two beats, melodic phrases that acknowledge the, that grouping, and then perhaps extending those melodic phrases. It comes from a word which just means half again as much, and the interaction of those two things create a kind of a rhythmic, potentially rhythmic harmony, and also a very fundamental intervallic harmony, since after all, the frequency ratio two to three is the perfect fifth. Well, hemiola, a great word, sounds a little bit like uh, some sort of skin condition, but we've got an ointment for that. Like and subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when I do my next video. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.